Hello there, today we're going to be looking at all the rares, their spawn locations and drops inside the Torrent starting zone of Mulgore. Maz Renache Our first rare of the video is Mazranache, a level 9 tall strider that roams around the Golden Plains. You'll probably find that he's either been killed or tamed, as he's the only tall strider that has a pink skin in Vanilla WoW, so he's very sought after by hunters. Nevertheless, if you do manage to kill him, a 50% drop chance to drop a Sleek Feather Tunic, which is a very nice leather tunic. If you don't have a use for it, it sells for a fair bit on the auction house. Aside from that, he doesn't really drop anything else, but nevertheless, he's worth killing. Snaggle Spear Next up is Snaggle Spear, a level 9 Null, just south of Bloodhoof Village. He normally spawns in a group of 2 or 3, so the fight can be quite difficult. One of his spells is his ability to net you as well, so you can't even escape if you wanted to. He is kinda worth killing though, because the chest nearby will almost guarantee you a green. As for his loot though, Unfortunately, he just drops common items, he doesn't even have a chance to drop green, so if you do get one it would be entirely by chance. The Rake Next up we have The Rake, a level 10 lion that roams around just west of Red Rocks inside of the Golden Plains. His spawn area, or rather roaming area, is quite large, so you may have to go looking around for him. And the problem is, a lot of players pass through this area onto quests in Northern Mulgore, so the chance of him being dead is quite high. Nevertheless, he does drop a unique piece of loot, just one green, 95% chance to drop uh, an item called Lion Fur Armor, which is, again, a nice nice leather chest piece. So that's two, two creatures that have dropped unique leather chest pieces in Mulgore. Unfortunately, it does seem like Blizzard have forgotten warriors, or, you know, male gear altogether by providing two leather chest pieces for Mulgore, which is a bit weird, needless to say. This one obviously has intellect, so I think this is geared towards shamans and druids. Enforcer Emelgund Next up is Enforcer Emelgund, a level 11 ogre in a Venjico camp just north of Thunderbluff. There's nothing special about this guy, he has a slightly increased chance to drop greens. Unfortunately, I forgot to record myself actually killing him, so all you've got here is loot, but as you can see, nothing good dropped. Sister Hate Lash. So up next we have Sister Hatelash, our first and only elite rare in Mulgore. She is a level 11 elite harpy and she roams around right to the west of Wildmain Waterwell, just in the kind of northwestern corner of Mulgore. There's nothing too special about her, obviously you'll see there she fires lightning bolts primarily. They can be quite damaging if you're a low level player. I wouldn't advise trying to take her solo. She has a 46% chance to drop the Warm Cloak, which is an okay back. But what's more important about Sister Hatelash is the 5% chance to drop level 16 to 19 shoulders, so if like me you like getting shoulders early level, she's definitely one to kill. Ghost Howl And last but not least we have Ghost Howl, a level 12 wolf that roams around again in the northwestern corner. There are a lot of rares that roam around up here, so I would definitely recommend checking it out. Ghost Howl is a really, really good rare, and I would recommend anybody go to get him, because he drops a quest item. Not only that, but he drops an equipable quest item, which is equally cool. Now, unfortunately, if you're Alliance, you can't do this quest. It's in Morgul, though, so I don't know why you would. But obviously, being Horde, you should definitely get this quest and hand it in. I think the hand it is in Bloodhoof Village. The quest rewards are really good, actually. They're both uh, greens you can choose from. One is a main-handed mace, and the other is a green gun. So if you are a hunter, this is definitely worth taking. If you're a warrior or a shaman or a druid, this is equally worth taking, because the mace is also pretty good. 
Thank you so much for watching this video on the rares and their drops in Mughal. I've got one more video to do for the Horde starting zones, which is Tears 4 Glades. That is a really interesting zone, so I would definitely recommend sticking around for that one. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments, and if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel.